Hi, today I'd like to talk to you about chords. Chords are the basic harmony of a song. An example of a chord is this. A three note chord is also called a triad. A triad is consisting of two third intervals. So here's an example of a triad. C major. So you can see two parts of this. You can see a note and you can see what is called a quality. So you start with the note. So since it says C, you start at C. And the other part is a quality and it says major. So this would be the C major chord. It's C, E, G. So you have C, E, and G. But you might be wondering, how can you make other major chords? So there's a formula. You would take the interval from C to E, and that would be a major third. Then you take the interval from E to G, and that would be a minor third. So the formula would be major third, minor third. Now let's try making our own major chord. Let's try E major. As you can see, the note, the first part of the chord is the note. So you start at E, and then the formula is major third, minor third. So you would go a major third, which is G sharp, and then you would go a minor third from G sharp, which would be B. So your chord is E, G sharp, B. And here's what it sounds like together. Now let's move on to minor chords. So let's say you have C minor. Once again, your note is C and your quality is minor. So you start at C, and here's your C minor chord. So you have C, E flat, and G. So the interval between C and E flat is a minor third, and between E flat and G, it's a major third. So the formula is the opposite. It's minor third, major third. So now let's try A minor. So you start at A, and you go a minor third up which would be C, and then you go a major third up from C to get to E. And that's your A minor chord. So the next type of triad is a diminished chord. So you would have C diminished, and this is the abbreviation of diminished, D-I-M. So you start at C, and your C diminished chord would sound like this, and that's pretty dissonant. So you have C, E flat, and G flat. So the intervals of a diminished chord are pretty interesting. From C to E flat, you have a minor third, and then from E flat to G flat, you have another minor third. So a diminished chord is two minor thirds. So let's try making an E flat diminished chord. So 
So you start at E flat and you go up a minor third and then you go up another minor third from F sharp. So you have E flat, G flat, and A, or B, B double flat, which would be B, A. So that's your E flat diminished. And then the last, and the second last type of triad is the augmented chord. So let's try a C augmented chord. It would sound like this. So a C augmented chord is two major thirds. So let's try it with D augmented. D augmented. So you start at D and you go a major third from D, which would be F sharp. And then you go another major third from F sharp and you get D, F sharp, A sharp. The last type of triad is a suspended chord. And a suspended chord is where the fourth replaces the third. So you would have your major chord, your C major chord, but since F is the fourth, it would replace the third. So you would have C, F, G, and it would sound like this. So let's try that with an E suspended chord. So you would have your E major chord of E, G sharp, B, but the fourth would be A. So instead of the G sharp, you would play an A. So it's E, A, and B. Let's do a quick recap of the triads and their abbreviations. So let's start with the major. So you would have C major, so that would be a major third and then a minor third. So if you do a C major chord, that would be C, you go up a major third, and you go up a minor third from there, and you have C, E, G. Now let's move on to minor. So let's do D minor. So the abbreviation would be M-I-N. So the formula is minor third, major third. So you go from D and then you go up a minor third, you get to F, and then you do a major third to get to A. So you have D, F, A. Now for E diminished. So the abbreviation is D-I-M and the intervals are two minor thirds. So if you start from E and you go up a minor third, you get to G and then another minor third would leave you at B flat. So you, had, you would have E, G, B flat. Now, let's go to F augmented. So the abbreviation is A-U-G. So the intervals are two major thirds. So you start from F, you go up a major third, and then you go up another major third from A, F, A, C sharp.
And here's a fun fact about augmented chords. An augmented chord is when you divide the scale by three because you have two equal intervals. So if you have a C augmented chord, you would have C, E, G sharp. The last type of triad is a suspended chord. Let's take G suspended. So the abbreviation for suspended is S, U, S. So for a suspended chord, you would replace the third with the fourth. Your G major chord would be G, B, D. But since it's a sus chord, you would take the fourth and play that instead of B. So you would have G, C, D. Now let's move on to seventh chords. Seventh chords are found a lot in jazz, but they're found in classical too. So seventh chords are basically when you add another third on top of a triad. So an example would be that, because there are three different types of thirds inside. So there are many different types of seventh chords. Let's start with a major. So if you have a C major seventh, it could look like this. So a C major seventh would be a C major chord. And then you, after that, you add the seventh because B is the seventh note of the scale. So your chord would be C, E, G, B. Now let's try it for D major seven. So once again, you would have your major chord. And since you have the seven, you would take the seventh note of the scale, which is C sharp. So your D major seven would be D, F sharp, A, C sharp. Now let's go on to the minor seven. So let's do E minor seven. And this is how it will mostly look. So for E minor seven, it says E minor, so you would play your E minor chord. And since it's a minor seventh, you would take the E minor scale. And D is your seventh note, so your E minor seventh chord would be E, G, B, D. Now let's try it with C minor seven. So you have your C minor chord and you take the seventh note of the C minor scale. So you have your C minor triad and then you add on the B flat and you get C minor seven. So C minor seven is C, E flat, G, B flat. The next type of seventh chord is a dominant chord. Dominant. So let's take G dominant. So G dominant would look like this, G seven. So for a dominant chord, you take um, your triad and you add on the flat seven. So you would take your triad, major triad, and then you would add the flat seventh. So for G7 or G dominant, you would take your G major chord and then you would add on the flat seven. So your major seven would be F sharp, but the flat seven would be down a half step. So that would be your G7 chord. 
So the G7 chord is G, B, D, F. Now let's try it with E7. So you do your major triad plus your flat 7. So that would be your E major triad. And then you add on your flat 7. So it's E, G sharp, B, D. So let's move on to the major minor 7th. So this is a combination of major and minor. So for your C major minor 7th, you would take your C minor chord and so you would have and then you add on the major 7th and you get that. This chord's pretty interesting. So let's try it for D, D major minor 7. So you add your D minor to the major 7 of the scale. So you have D minor and then you take your major 7th and you would have D, F, A, C sharp. And it can be written like this. So if you have a D minor major 7, then it would be D, lowercase m, capital M, 7th. So now let's talk about the half diminished 7th. So it would be written like this. M seven flat five because it's basically your minor seven in this case we have c minor seven and then you make the fi the fifth of the chord or in this case g you move it down a half step so you would have c e flat g flat b flat now let's try it with a minor 7 flat 5. So you have your A minor 7 chord and you take the 5th or the 5th note of the scale and then you move it down a half step. So you have A, C, E flat, G. The last type of 7th chord is the sus the suspended dominant. So it would be written like this. If you had an F suspended dominant, it would be it would be F7 sus 4. Or it could be just be written as F7 sus. So for this one, you would take your F sus. So you have if you had your major chord, you would just move the third to the fourth. And then you would add on your flat seven, because it's a sus dominant. You have F, B flat, C, E. So it's F, B flat, C, E flat. Now let's try a G7 sus four. You have your G suspended, and then you add on the seventh, the flat seventh. You have G, C, D, F. So you have G, C, D, F. Now we've covered triads and seventh chords. If you have any question about intervals, just look at my intervals video. Thanks for watching.